Namaste. Today we will do a check on what I did in the month of July. Uh, I actually did not do much. I just did 18 pages. That's it. Believe it or not. And this is by far the least number of pages that I have ever done. Mm. I'm actually also doing a second take on this recording. I already recorded my completed pages and when I was going through it to see if I need to edit anything, I realized that it was not very good in the sense it was very negative and I was not in the right frame of mind. Let's put it that way. And I don't think that that is what I need to put out into the world. Uh, so I decided to re-record this and let's see if we can keep it <laughs> neutral if not positive right moving on so as i said i did only 18 pages um but before we go on to the 18 i will show you the the markers and pens that i used up and then i'll show you my uh, few work in progress and then we we'll move on to the completed pages right so i did use up this red uh pentel energel pen refill i use refills because i feel it's more eco-friendly than throwing away a pen every time so if you have not yet uh, seen my review on the pentel energel it's there in my uh, review playlist but i keep on harping about them in almost all videos so i would highly recommend if you use gel pens for your coloring do consider using these ones because they do come with refills and they are really long lasting i also used up uh, this sky blue of uh, touch new marker mm, i also used up this uh, cerulean blue again from touch new i also used up uh, ultra marine from touch new again and i used up this grass green from tung Fu shop now in reality i have actually used up a lot more markers than these but i forgot to keep them separate so the used up markers are now mixed up in my <laughs> working markers so probably next month you might see a little bit more uh, because i'll start segregating them let's move on to the whips in this book i have two pages flagged for doing but one i have not yet started I have just uh, identified the numbers and the pen uh, pencil colors because I'm going to use Brutfuna Square. This one is a work in progress. Both these pages are supposed to be a body color with Amanda. I don't know if she's already finished hers, but I, as usual, I'm taking too long uh, to do this. Sorry, Amanda. Um, this is a work in progress from last month. Um, I did finish the first spiral. The second spiral I'm doing in a different color. I don't know how the result will be. So I hope it doesn't look very bad. Because if you have been watching my videos previously, you will know I have a disaster here on my hand <laughs> with this one. Um, but in this one, the difference was I colored the whole spiroglyphic with red color. And then I tried to fill in the gaps with a black. Here, the difference is that one of the spiral is supposed to be in red the other is black i don't know if it will work or not but it, you never know if you don't try you don't know right so i decided to experiment with that one then i have a work in progress here from like 2020 <laughs> first lockdown i started working on this but it's like it's too big for me to work on it continuously mm, so i don't know when i will finish i had really hoped this month i will be able to do it but the month didn't go as planned okay so uh the way i'm going to show you is i'm not going to categorize them as like color by numbers or mandalas or stuff, stuff like that i'm just going to show you in two sections one is my 10 books to finish and one is just all the other ones okay so these are my 10 books to finish of course they are not 10 <laughs> but they are the pages from those books so let's see from cute dinosaurs i have done two pages I did this on the 2nd of July. I did it with various markers. And this I did on the 8th of July. I really don't know how many pages are balanced uh, in this one. I'll probably need to make an update video 
to see where I am with my 10 books to finish. Okay. In this one, I did do a lot of pages. So let's start with, uh, yeah, this one I did on the 1st of July. And I have used various markers on this one. I used uh, Ohuhu fine tips on this because I purchased a new set this month and I wanted to try the fine type side of the uh, markers. So this one I did completely with fine tips. I did this on the 2nd of July. This one is also done with Ohuhu and I also did this on the 2nd of July but I did this with the brush tip side of it because I wanted to see how the brush tip side works. This one I have done on the 4th of July. I have used various markers in this one. This one is done with Ohuhu markers. Um, I was not very happy when I started with this because the spaces to color is very small. Uh, but once I started on it, it was okay. I think it, I had to split it over two days. Of course, I color for like maybe half an hour, one hour per day, not more than that. So, uh, I had to split it over two days. Then I did this one with also Ohuhu. I did this on the 12th of July. This one I did on the 16th of July, again with Ohuhu. The same thing for this. I felt the spaces to color was so small and I was feeling a bit impatient about that. But uh, once I started with it, I was okay. And uh, I think this also took like, I think two days, split over two days to finish it. Yeah, that's it from this book. From this book, I did only one page. And that's this one actually this page was spoiled i think you can see over here there is staining from the previous uh, page where i used budget markers and uh, it stained the whole uh, page so i was like should i abandon the page but then i thought no i don't want to abandon the page see here you can see so it had left a similar stain on the other side also um it's not like I have to put this up in an exhibition. I thought why to waste the page and since this is my 10 books to finish, I need to color every page in it. it doesn't matter if it's stained or not, right? So I colored it and then I used again some budget markers and look, it's leaving a stain again. So sometimes I think <laughs> it's good to spend money only on budget markers because it's not like I am a Picasso or something. But at the same time, when this kind of things happen, it hurts a bit, you know, because you do put a, put in your uh, hours and you do put in your effort and you like your picture to look nice at the end of the day. And this is what happens when it starts leaving stain. And I had forgotten to keep this page earlier and look what happened. It spoiled this page also. So, yeah, I was a bit sad about that one. Um, but anyway, so I did only one page from this and i have used uh, like various markers touch new tone for and stuff like that um then from this one also i did only one page mm, that's this and while i was working on it i ran out of this color so i had to change the color and use another green um, but that's fine i'm i mean it's good that i'm using up the products that i have i hate to think that i have so many markers and pens and they are just rotting away i it's like i wasted money you know i would prefer to think i spent money or invested money uh, waste is not good so i'm glad that i uh, i'm using up more and more markers it makes me happy when a marker finishes i don't care if i have to change the color and you know the picture looks a bit off uh, i would rather have that than have a hundred sets of markers and not really using any of them <laughs> this one i finished on the 24th okay then i did one page from here this is one of my oldest coloring books okay so this one i have done with acrylic paint pens um these are supposed to be glitter variety yeah you can see there uh, and uh, they are very broad tipped uh, 
pen so i was a bit worried about how i'm going to do it but luckily for me it came out not so bad but then i gave up on coloring all the spaces in between uh because um, i thought it was going to look very messy if i colored every space which is there it would look too um, crowded if that word makes sense i felt it looked like this better i what i did was then i took a picture of this and i posted it on instagram and i asked if i should really color in the gaps or leave it as it is i got only one response i mean i did get more likes but <laughs> nobody replied to the question except for one person i forgot the person's name but they said it looks better like this so i decided to just leave it like this so these were pages from my 10 books to finish um let's move on to other uh, pages that i have done so from uh, 100 magnificent mandalas volume 2 by special art i think yeah volume 2 i did two pages um uh with the uh, dawn from embin's color with me um both were a body color with her this one i did on the 15th of july and this was uh, also part of the one color challenge uh, the hashtag for that is one color challenge 2022 2022 um so it, it's just that you have to color a image any image doesn't have to be a mandala anything that you can color with shades or hues of the same color you can participate in the hashtag and then the second one was this uh i have used um some metallic markers which are actually all surface markers uh, craft markers these are not basically meant only for paper uh i have used them on uh bookmarks like made from wood and stuff like that before so this is the combination i came up with um silver golden and black It was just in memory of something i i think i like the way it came out uh, and i also like the way these uh, markers uh, the result from these markers they are not that expensive so i was a bit worried when i purchased them thinking if they are so cheap will they really have good results but i think they did have so yeah I like how it has turned out. So this was done on the tenth of July. Um, then from here, I have also done two body colors with Nadia from Astra Luna Coloring. I don't know. I don't know if she is on YouTube or not. I don't think so. I know she is there on um, Instagram, and she has a SD shop also. etsy etsy shop also so you can check it out uh, i'll uh, the people i'm mentioning i will put a link to their channels or instagram uh, whatever the case might be uh, for this one i did use a little bit of uh, acrylic uh, glitter pen just to put some dots because i felt it was a bit too plain and i put some washi tape here at the borders because i thought i am not using my washi tapes enough and i was feeling too bored to do the whole background so i thought instead of doing a background let me just put some washi tape border so that's why i did that we did this on the 10th of july okay and then on the 18th of july we did this one and i had used again acrylic markers normal markers alcohol markers gel pen combination of everything and then this one also was a body color with nadia okay then i did a page from here uh this i did on the 19th of july i did this with ohuhu i just wanted to check how ohuhu performs compared to crayola uh, super tips so for example i have done this one with crayola super tips and i have done this with ohuhu um my body ton ohuhu i don't know if they will last longer um but frankly i i think if you if you would like this result you spend lesser so it's not that they are bad but if i have to compare a cheaper brand they are not really that extraordinary for the money that i pay extra for them so yeah that's how i felt about it 
एनीवेज आई डिड दिस ऑन द नाइनटीन ऑफ जुलाई इफ आई डेंट मैंशन इट और इफ आई मैंशन इट आई एम सॉरी आई फॉर गॉट इफ आई मैंशन इट और नॉट एंड देन आई डिड दिस पेज Mm, this was for a prompt from uh, Pixie Projects uh, for her Pixie Disney coloring, and I think the prompt uh, this month was the rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, but I am not sure. I just remembered that it was the rabbit, and that's why I did this page. I am not even sure if this rabbit is from Winnie the Pooh or not. Uh, but yeah, the the reason I chose this page was that. I did this on the seventeenth, and I have used Ohuhu markers. Now, as you can see, the how should I say the final uh, version with Ohuhu markers on this page seems a lot better than the other. But at the same time, when we talk about bigger spaces, look, you can see the streakiness. So for me, the thing is that Crayolas do show the streakiness. I think all water-based markers show the streakiness. then why should i spend more so if you prefer ohuhu over uh, crayola let me know in the description uh, in the comments box below why you do so because i'm torn between the two and as and when i use up these markers and i need to replace them i need to know if i should go with ohuhu or crayola i'm sure i will make up my own mind as i keep on using both of them but at this point of time i am inclining a little bit towards crayola rather than ohuhu so let me know which ones you prefer okay so that is it these were the pages that i colored in this month only 18 pages so i don't know if next month i will be able to do better or not uh, as i have a expectation that i'll get even less time next month to color um but more than the time i hope i feel like coloring because june was bad july was worse i actually thought that i'll feel better and i i don't force myself to color because i think the reason why i color is to feel better if i'm going to force myself then it's not going to achieve anything and for the last whole week almost i have like i didn't feel even to pick up a pen and i don't know why that is so because i do do so love coloring it's one of my favorite hobbies i do have other hobbies i love reading i love listening to music i love maybe writing a little bit but this is my favorite hobby uh as compared to all the other things you know like i do invest time sometimes in doing some crochet work or trying out a new recipe but those are not things that i gravitate to naturally <laughs> if i'm feeling stressed coloring is what i gravitate to naturally and it's very surprising that i have not felt like coloring at all uh i have seen other people uh, say the same thing um on on their channels i don't know how they deal with it and how long it takes to go back to what we would call it as normal but i hope it's fast because i miss coloring and it makes me sad that i'm not coloring the way i used to before so let's hope i get my mojo back soon enough if you have not yet subscribed then please do so and i will be putting a link in the description box below uh for my amazon shop if you liked any of the books that you are seeing over here and would like to purchase them then i would request you to use that link um, because if i want to buy more markers and books i i think it will help me to get a amazon voucher <laughs> to uh you know discount the purchase so it will really help me if you can consider using the link to purchase any of the books that you have seen over here um thanks for having stopped by and have a great day or evening depending on when you are watching it bye for now